G'day again, Westy here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to convert Turnigy 9X to ER9X with Companion 9X Software Editor. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, so we'll just get into it. As you can see, we're running the standard Turnigy software on the uh, bottom right hand corner there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to convert that over to ER9X. Okay, you using Companion 9X. Right, so what we've got to do here on the set of buttons up here, we want the one with the transmitter with the flame, the red flame on it. Right, flash memory. Um, the beeping you can hear in the right hand bottom corner, by the way, is a low voltage warning because I've got my transmitter plugged in to the computer via my cable uh, to my programmer and that's running off USB power. Okay so we've got right firmware to TX you want to load the firmware so we've got to navigate to where that is so I need to find my file which I'll quickly do and I'll go to my ER9X stable latest stable ER9X hex okay open right and now it's going to ask me it tells me all the version and everything in the software um, and really that's all I need to do burn to TX comes up with a box it's writing to the transmitter it's gone blank on the right hand side it's going to write to it and then it's going to read from the chip on the processor, the ECU, and compare and verify whether those two files that it sent and received back are the same size uh, and content. So once it's done that, it'll come back, in this case it's come back saying it's correctly finished and you've got an alert bad EEPROM data prompt come up on the screen. Now that's absolutely normal. All you need to do now is press any button and it will format it's the EEPROM. So straight away we've got the R9X set up, ready to go. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, that's all. Great. Thanks for watching.